So yeah, that's a true console style toggle sprint using an outer ring binding and a release press. <laughs> you know that. Real simple. Been a little while since I did a tutorial video here. Um, this is a subject I kind of keep coming back to. Toggle sprint. Toggle sprint is one that, um, I don't know. I just keep trying to perfect. I really like the console style toggle sprint where you click in, you know, push forward. And when you let go, it comes back off. Now, just to get a couple things out of the way, immediately, yes, you could do this through. Yeah, you could set the click to be sprint and then toggle that on and off, but you're gonna have to click it again to turn it off. So I kind of perfected making a separate action set in previous videos on a Battlefield Bad Com Company 2, but using that was through um, WASD. So for this one, I just kind of wanted to touch upon that again because I changed a little bit and feel like I kind of perfected it now, at least for me, using a joystick move. So, and I wanted to show it before, um, before I take off, like, I'm not going to have this profile do that. That's just for me testing it. So I figured this would be a good time to make a video just to show this off. This is, um, Ravenfield, by the way. Really digging it making a nice profile for it. I'm not really there yet. So this is just toggle run. So what I do is, well, first I made a run set, made an action set, you know, up here, copied everything and then named it run. So then I can make some tweaks. Then from the default on click action, I have go to run. So we go to run. Now in the run set, this has an outer shift binding, an outer ring binding of left shift. Here's the binding radius, so you can see that. And then, so regular has an outer ring of shift on release press of that outer ring binding, we go back to default. You know, basically everything outside of that dark circle is where my binding is on. When I let the stick up a little bit off of that, it'll go back to default. So it goes to the run set. I have the stick forward, I let go a little bit, and then it goes back to default, <laughs> which works really, really well. And that's pretty much it. Now, the only other thing I needed to tweak was I also put that same put the change back to default on the left mouse, left trigger, which is right mouse. Because if I didn't do that, let's take that off and have it be the right mouse again, you'll see the issue here. That little flicker. It's not noticeable all the time, but it was enough that it was bugging me. Back to default. on a start press. So yeah, that's a true console style toggle sprint using an outer ring binding and a release press. <laughs> you know that, real simple. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the habit of using that more than I thought I would, where I make a separate action set for the run. Now, you could also, just to get some criticisms addressed, as I said, you could put that as a toggle shift, but you'll have to click it again to take it off. And you could also put an outer ring binding, you know, on the default, but uh, I kind of like, you know, normal movement all the way, then the run. It's just, it's a preference thing, really. And that can also cause problems with certain games where shift would be like hold breath or you know extra zoom in. You wouldn't want that on forward stick. 
yeah, that's all I got. I got to get back to finishing this profile so I can start showing off this game. <laughs> it's, it's a fun one. It's like single player battlefield with cool slow-mo. All right, I will see you around. A lot of rambling, but I tried to stay on point. Don't think about nipples. Be professional. Hit the tires! <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.